So Thorfinn lost? He lost. It ended when I got punted into the forest. But Thorfinn is really dangerous when he's cornered. Episode 19. United Front. That's very terrible. Oh my god, no! No, no, no. You need to figure this out, that you are on the same team, and you have been for a long time. I could do a whole episode on Thor's backstory, that'd be great. Vinland Saga is like the Bible if Jesus died in Genesis. I just realized that Asclad is depicted with a snake in the opening. That's Helga. Yeah. Helga was royalty, sort of. So they're related, yeah. Uncle Thorkel. They lost that? It's because Thor's gave up. <laughs> that took a weird turn. I was about to say that was touching, but no. He was very much alive in a new way. So there was something in between. Oh, he came back for Helga. And his daughter, I guess, to get them out. Well, this is an easy one. We know Thorpe doesn't care about it. Factions or sides. He cares about greatness, glory. Imagine being that strong, you could just stop Thorkel in his tracks. They both look young and, and innocent somehow. Thorkel's not the calm down type. We are in the middle of absconding. I wonder if this interaction changed Thorkel. Do great men make, make their own way? In a way, it's sort of a big gesture that Thor's would even bother trying to explain to Thorkel. <laughs> you're not yourself when you're hungry. But I'm guessing he's not going to illuminate Thorkel on exactly what that means. Leaving Thorkel to ponder this interaction for the rest of his life. This was a transformative experience. There's something he doesn't know. Nah. He can't ignore this because Thor's is just such a great man. I left it at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> He just beat him on every level, physically and emotionally. It's very spiritual for Thorkel. He became a real warrior here. Uh, pottery, if I remember correctly. I mean, that's actually really insightful. It's in there, but buried. Oh. It's such an exciting team up. I was busy fighting like 50 people. Is that weakening at all though? I feel like that's not going to be the same same motivation. But Thorfinn doesn't really have much else. And also, yeah, it's a fight for survival. Literally. This is life or death. <laughs> it's so terrifying. For someone that big to be that quick. Uh -oh. 
That's how I got the fingers off the first time. He was acting unconscious. Yeah, overconfident. But how? What's gonna finish him off? Oh, the sunlight! But his cheek? Whoa, what does he have a glass jaw? I was not expecting him to go down with a kick to the face. That's cheating. Is it Thorkel? <laughs> Oof, that's terrifying. I feel like Thorkel will turn on them. Where do we go from here? Aww, <laughs> we were having so much fun. Here comes the party pooper. I've discovered this five minutes ago in a revelation about the whole universe. He's, he's still there. His soul has yet to return to his body three episodes later. I don't know if he's alive. I think he's done forever. He's gone. <laughs> Darko literally scared the identity out of him. And I understand. I don't blame him. Did he though? I mean, it feels, I feel fair is fair. When he launched Thorfinn into the woods, he like got a chair and wait, waited for him to rest. He just has super high standards for himself. <laughs> he the guy loses an eye. Loses an eye. It's knocked out. That's one of the worst hair, hair days of all time. It was mildly unpleasant. He's asked that notices a change in his face. Bold of you. That's true, he could provide leverage by deciding to cooperate. Yeah, it really happened very quickly. Oh, he, does he know? Does he know? He does know. That's a tough pill to swallow. Now we're all on the same page. The grapes again, the wine. But we could unite? Time to amass an army? Wow, that's insane! And awesome. Hell yeah. Did we all just become friends somehow? That really sucks for all the- all of Aslad's traitors who are lying in the snow right now. But he's speaking a language that Thorkel can understand in a way. This is spoken like a true warrior. A punch from Thorkel is not an or ordinary punch. How did this Dragon Ball Z character end up in this show? <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, a canyon just exploded with a hole in the middle. Conviction. Conviction in a cause. This is such a smart move all around for everyone. It makes so much sense. And it's so satisfying for me. I'm so glad that they all ma made it out of it. I would have hated to have lost Oracle or any character. He's going to be great, but he's also kind of terrifying in that he seems to have lost it. <laughs> Thorfinn. Thorfinn, you need to take a page out of this book. That went way past the gamble, that was... He's so incredibly lucky to be alive. Or is that his skill, you know? Could he have played it any differently? Any better? Ooh, he swears his allegiance. And he's honest about it. Speaking of gambles, damn. <laughs> this suddenly becomes such a stack team. It's a powerhouse. Thorkel and Asclad and Thorfinn in the same party. United under a common cause from 
Knut, of all people. I mean, the dude is convicted. It's a little bit frightening, like I said. Knut's revelation makes a lot more sense to me now after this episode. I think central to it is his incredibly painful and rapid crash to reality, where all of a sudden he saw a lot of things he'd been avoiding for what they really were. The cruelty that he'd been protected from, the fact that his father has chosen to turn against him. Ragnar, the one person who loved him, was was killed in the whole process. And no one is coming, and that despite him not wanting to have been born in the royal family, he was born in the royal family, and that's that. That makes him a target, and makes him someone of significance, potentially. It feels like one of those Fight Club moments where, you know, it's only once you've lost everything you're free to do anything. I think what was essential about the priest's interaction with him was something like the acceptance of his own death. The fact that that too, like all of his fears, are just the reality. They're all there. It felt like a total letting go. And therein also lies the danger. You know, it's so great to see. There's so much power in that, like to, to cast aside the things you've been caring about. Whatever. Screw it. It's such a freeing feeling, but there's a danger in it too. For Knut, there's a part of it that seems a little bit detached and cynical. And so in many ways, it feels like he might be walking into the same mistakes that a lot of the other main characters are are in or finding themselves in. That doesn't mean he won't be able to do great things. You know, just like Asklad. Asklad's able to do all these amazing feats of leadership and cunning and all these successful, so far, gambles that might end up seeing him something like an actual leader of sorts. Yet it's kind of lacking that moral core, a richer understanding, maybe the, the humanity in it that Thor's had. But either way, it's so thrilling to watch him actually stand up and have purpose towards something instead of being this frail coward and to have such an ambitious plan and to have the characters unite behind him. Honestly, I couldn't imagine a better outcome for me personally watching this whole arc. It was so thrilling from start to finish. The stakes were super high, but it would have been sort of disappointing to lose someone to it. It would have been a little bit disappointing, I think, if Thorfinn defeated Thorkel. Just because Thorkel is so great. What's better than having Thorfinn beat Thorkel? Thorfinn and Thorkel uniting under a different cause with Asklad. That was such a great way to up the stakes. Put all the people we've been getting attached to and been building up on the same page towards a huge enemy and making them their own independent faction. Really excellent stuff. I, I can't wait to see where it goes. Before the video ends, I have to give a huge shout out to all patrons for making these series possible, for making these videos possible. And shout out to those who joined the top tier on Patreon. Michael Philiber, Lorewand, and Sisalex. Thank you too for the support. Thank you to everybody for watching. Check out merch in the description if you haven't already. Love you guys as always, and I'll see you very soon for maybe the start of a new arc of Vinland Saga, maybe the final arc. <laughs>